What's up, lifelong learners? Today, your boy, Mr. Hang, is going to teach you DaVinci Resolve, and it's just the basics. It's just gonna be like setting up your folders, importing, setting up your timeline. You're gonna do a little bit of editing where you chop things up, put it into nice little places where you can have a nice video, and then I'm going to show you how to export. So uh, this is a long video, so I'm just gonna go right into it. Here we go. Since 2006, I've been teaching high school kids how to transform their lives through education. So consider subscribing and join the mission to make the hood all good. First thing you're gonna have to do here is you are going to, uh, first Ms. Tang needs to enunciate. <laughs> but yeah, click on this part right here where it says new project. So you're gonna start a new project. I'm going to name this algebraic expression, uh, actually concept. So once I've typed in whatever you wanna name this project, I'm going to click on create. And then now you have this crazy looking interface, right? You're on the cut interface. There's the media interface. There is the edit interface. And then there's the fusion, which is we're not gonna go to that color for color grading when you're trying to make it look a certain color. And then there's fair light, which is also for audio editing. And then there's the delivery, which is when we use when we export. So I'm going to go with media first. So the first thing you have to do is learn how to import media that you want to use. So what I did was I am going to click on file. I'm going to click on import media. I'm going to go to my desktop. I recorded videos already and it is called how to edit with DaVinci Resolve importing and so on and so forth. Anyways, I'm going to move on to finding where I saved my media. So I shot these videos on my iPhone X. So I'm going to I can import the whole folder or I can just import the media. So I'm going to just click there and then I'm going to click on the bottom one while holding shift and then you're going to select everything. Now, if you don't want to, if you just want to select certain media, you're going to hold command and then you're going to click on whatever you want to import. But in my case, I'm going to import everything and then I'm going to click the top one, hold down shift and I'll select everything in between and I'm going to import every video. These clips have different frame rates than the current project setting. Would you like to change your timeline frame rate? Yes, just change it so that you can match the frame rate because I shot at 30 frames per second. I don't know what this timeline is, but here are all the imported video. I shot a long video clip like this, and then I shot short ones like this. So I'm gonna show you how to edit long video clips and chop it up. I'm gonna show you how to piece together a bunch of short clips to make a long video. So I'm going to take this to edit. I don't really go back to cut much. I go to edit. I review when I do cut. So I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to drag this long clip and I'm going to put it right here. Drag and drop like so. Oh, I don't have the right clip. I need to find my long video here. So 29, that's not it. Let me just uh, organize this by file name. So the first video I shot was 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So this would be the first video that I shot that was a very long video. Okay, so do you see that I moved places? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to zoom in on this and you can zoom in by pushing Command plus and Command minus or just click on these two buttons right here for zooming out and zooming in. So I'm gonna zoom in and then I'm going to chop off the pieces that I don't want. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to click on that right there, that arrow right there. It has a name, it's called the A mode or selection mode. So I'm going to cut that and drag it over. And then you're gonna see me start instead of a long intro. I Hi. This is Mr. Hang. So I start with me talking right away. I'm gonna cut out the part where I'm walking. So I'm going to go to the razor tool. This is what I'm gonna to use to cut, or you can push B, okay? So I'm going to go cut where I wanna cut, click, and then I drag it to where I'm about to say something else, cut there. And I'm gonna go back and click A. Now this is really rudimentary, there's way faster ways of doing this. But it's just, like I said, this is just the basics. 
So you're going to click on that right there, that section, you're going to push delete, you'll delete whatever you don't want to see, and then you click and drag and put this over here. And then so when I play it back, this is what you get. Hi, this is Mr. Hang. I'm so excited to teach you some algebraic concepts. And then before I move, so I finished the saying the word concept, I'm about to move again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut, drag this over, and, almost and I walked up close like that. I'm going to cut, click on the arrow button right here or the selection tool, delete what I don't want, click on it, push delete, and then you drag this over. And then I'm going to keep repeating the process. I think you get the point by now. I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to cut right here, click the razor tool, cut, drag it over here, and then I'm going to, so let's, I'm about let's to say go. something. So I'm going to cut right there, go back to selection, click on this, delete that part. So you're going to click here after deleting and then you're going to close the gap like that. And then when you play it back, you're going to see me do this. So let's think about an elementary school. When you're given this equation. All right, so you can see right there that I'm just gonna keep deleting all the gaps where I move. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert what this is going to look like really quick so that you understand how it is that I'm cutting in between and then deleting what's in the middle to connect all these clips and make it go a lot faster. These are called jump cuts. <laughs> So you can see I'm done editing what I need to edit. Now I'm going to push P so that I can review the whole thing. Play it back. Hi, this is Mr. Hang. I'm so excited to teach you some algebraic concepts. And I know most of you are very excited to learn it too. So let's think about an elementary school. When you're given this equation in elementary school, you have the magical blank box where you can put in a number and it satisfy this equation. So what number are we going to put in for that magic box to satisfy this equation of two times, I don't know what number, plus one is going to give me 11. Most of you are going to figure out this is five because two times five is 10 plus one. 10 plus one is 11. So therefore you have 11 equals to 11. So as you can see, I'm going to push escape here. And then I have basically cut everything I wanted to cut. So now we're going to go into editing something that I also recorded that's going to add on to this is short form. And this is a different way of doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this video. I'm going to go to right before I start talking. So right before I start talking, I'm going to do this thing called mark an endpoint or push the letter I. Okay. So when you push I, you mark an endpoint. And then I'm going to go to where I stop talking. I'm going to be recording in small short video clips. So I'm about to walk to turn off the camera right now. So I just finished talking. I'm going to mark this thing called an out point or push O. See, this is the endpoint, the out point. And then you can do this by dragging. Uh, you can put something onto the timeline by dragging just the video only. Or you can click on this and then drag the audio only. Or you can click on this and drag both. So I'm going to do Command Z here or Control Z. I'm going to drag both. When I click on this, I drag both the audio and the video together. And then I'm going to continue on with my video. So in this recording, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be recording in small short video clips. So then I'm going to go to the next one, double click on this right before I start talking. I mark an endpoint with an I. I'm going to mark an out point with an O. Drag both or just drag video or just drag audio. Drag both the video and the audio, put it together. It ends up being like this when I connect them together. Video clip. Now the part in green is pretty easy. 
because the numbers are small, but what is the number? All right, so you're gonna get to watch the whole video later, but I'm gonna keep repeating myself. Double click on this. Go mark an endpoint with an I. I'm gonna mark an out point with an O. Drag both video and audio. Put it there. I'm gonna keep repeating this process, so I'm gonna fast forward this part. <laughs> okay, so I have edited together this long strand of short clips put into one long video. So I'm gonna push P now so I can preview the whole thing and you can watch along with me. Play. So in this recording, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm going to be recording in small short video clips. Now the part in green is pretty easy because the numbers are small, but what if the numbers are really large? That's where you have to rely on algebraic concepts, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. The first thing you have to do here is subtract one from both sides. You see I subtracted one from both sides. So after you subtract one from both sides, one minus one is zero, so it's gone, it's balanced, and then 11 minus one is going to be 10. And then you have two x equals to 10. So this is two times x, just like how we relate to, to here. And then you're going to do the multiplicative inverse. Oh my goodness, I sound so nerdy. So you're going to divide both sides by two. So now that you've divided both sides by two, you have two divided by two, which is one. It turns into identity. Oh my goodness, I'm such a nerd. And then 10 divided by two is five. So this is really one times x is equal to five. One times any number is just the same. So we don't write the one, we just say, x is equal to 5. And then how do you know that that's the right answer? You take it and plug it back in. Oops. <laughs> and there's your answer. 2 times 5 plus 1 is equal to 11, which is true. 10 plus 1 is 11. 11 is equal to 11. And that is how you know that you have the right answer when you solve an algebraic equation. Wow. I'm such a nerd. Okay, so uh, that's basically it. Push, you can push this button right here to go back to seeing your editing workspace. So that's basically it. Two ways of doing this is to have one long clip, chop it up into small pieces and they connect together, or you can have a bunch of short clips, mark your endpoints and out points. You can also take the long clips and mark endpoints and out points and then drag it on. Just to, sh just to prove the point, I mean, I'm not gonna do anything amazing here. If I have this one long clip, all I got to do is just go find the parts where I just move and jump and stuff like that. I'll mark an in point with an I, and I'll mark an out point with an O, drag it onto the timeline. Again, I'll go over here, I'll mark an I over here, I'll mark an O. I mean, I'm, just, I'm just showing you that you can do that with the long clips. So those are your basics of editing. Now I'm going to highlight all this by clicking and holding and then dragging down and pushing delete. I'm going to delete stuff off the timeline. Now. I am going to show you how to export all this. So to export all this, you're going to go to deliver. So right now you've only learned how to kind of deal with media for importing all your media. You've done your editing in editing, and then you're going to go to exporting, which is underneath, which says deliver right here. So you get to pick and choose where you want to deliver YouTube, Vimeo, ProRes, uh, we're not going to go there, so most people are going to want to upload this to YouTube. Now, I'm considering teaching teachers this. That's why I chose to do algebra and not like my vlogs or anything. So I'm going to click on YouTube. I'm going to click on how big I want the resolution to be. So 720 to save space, 1080 is a standard right now. 4K is 2160p. That's 4K. I'm going to not choose 4K. I'm going to choose this right here. And then I'm going to make sure I have... Uh, the resolution set, the format, I want it in MP4 instead of MOV, which is QuickTime format. I don't want that, I want MP4. I want H.264 and everything else is all good right here. So then after you have selected all this, you're gonna give it a name right here, the file name. You want it to be Algebraic Concepts. Because I showed you how to go from elementary school to high school in terms of algebra. So after you've given the name, you're going to select the location where you want to save this. I'm gonna click on browse. I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to go to how to edit and export. 
I'm going to uh, export it on into this folder right here. So I'm going to click Save. So now I am going to click on Add to Render Queue. Here is the timeline that I'm going to be exporting, and I'm going to click on Start Render. And then see how this thing is rendering from the beginning all the way to the end right here. And then just to show you that this is going to be saving over here. Saving over here. I don't need that. I need to go to how to edit. How to edit with DaVinci Resolve. You're, being a, you're seeing a file that's being written right here. So once this is done, I'll be able to play this back to you, the full video, non-stop just like what you saw earlier and of course you can take this video once it's done exporting and you can see it gives you a percentage right here once it's done exporting you can put it wherever you want you can take it to youtube you can take it to um, vimeo however you want to export this and share it you can put it in google drive and then share it with your colleagues so or students again this is uh, me thinking of my other teacher friends who want to know how to teach their students remotely all right, so here is the video that is completed. If I play it Hi, back, this is Mr. Hang. I'm so excited to teach you. All the way to here. You solve an algebraic equation. Wow, I'm such a nerd. All right, so I ended it right there. It's not a perfect edit, but I just wanted to get the point across. All right, so I'm gonna keep the intro short as well. Like, share, and subscribe. If you got any questions, put it in the comments down below. Don't forget to, uh, do what that guy is telling you to do right there. And I'm going to say goodbye with, here we go, rock, paper, peace. Let's hang out again in the next video.